Pessoal! Nada show before my time I think it was called the Petticoat but the woman who owned that restaurant was named Betty so they named it Petticoat Junction I believe that's the story she's a cool lady though my dad built your mom and dad built that shed yeah the brown one yeah that's where Chase was born the horse he was born in there there the one that your parents have now yeah. pretty two round circle when this house was built, Miss Hornbeck, she had to store her food in here. The root cellar. Crazy, huh? Wow. Carried all the way back down there. Yeah, it's a long distance to store all your food. Let's go. All right, I'm coming. In 1870, the Hornbeck Homestead was built by a determined and strong-willed single mother of four, Adeline Hornbeck. A string of struggles and setbacks did not stop Adeline from increasing the value of her home nearly five times before filing final papers under the Homestead Act in 1885. Adeline became a prominent member in the Florissant community and owned the first home in the area to have more than one story. 
definitely a woman in history to be admired. And the woman who lived here was like a single mom, too. Really? Yeah. Paving the way for single mothers everywhere. Your life is your family and your home. What else would exist outside of this, really? You wake up every morning, do your chores with your family. Yeah. If there was a school, was there a school? Was there a school? Yeah, the, the down in Florissant. Suffer. It's just about living and surviving and having a family. Life was simple back then. What'd you find? You Train pictures, your shoes. We're on the monument right now, the Florissant Fossil Bay is the National Monument. And I'd bring my dog out here. And this was uh, kind of the hike we'd go on all the time. There's a lake that I named Hi. Lake Dustin because my dog's name was Dustin. And we would just go and chill and explore the wilderness. Did you like Lake Dustin? No. You didn't? What? You like then the get, lake? You know what? Then get out of my frame. Yeah. Get out of here if you don't like Lake Dustin. Who likes Lake Dustin? I do! I like Lake Dustin. You think Matt would move here? I like. Would you move here? I like. Maybe. Maybe. I like. New York, Florissant. New York, like. Florissant. Both. I like. What you got there? Pine cone. Uh, pine cone? I don't know. No, no, no. Put that one. <laughs> okay, okay, Daddy. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think of this place? Oh, no. I'm crazy here. One time. Yeah. Daddy used to play here. Oh. Daddy used to swim in there. No. I'm so wet. Hi. Hi. Right. It's getting heavy. This grass is hurting his legs. So I have to carry the spider monkey. Oh, come on. Let's get you. Trying to upload our video for I can't get it to work tomorrow. That's gonna be a problem. We well, need a video. I'm on, right? I'm on. But then when I try and go to YouTube, it doesn't let me go to YouTube. Look how messy this kid's face is. I was so hungry when we came to this place. We had to leave the last place because the Wi-Fi was a bust. And now we're getting yogurt. It is yogurt. Good. Two hours for this video to load. Two hours. You think it's gonna take two hours for this kid to finish his yogurt? No. But why are we having to do this now? Because my proof editor, Mr. Dallas, didn't catch a few errors that I made in the video. <laughs> until it was already loaded on YouTube. So now that we're on the road, no one in Florida, Colorado has Wi-Fi. And so we had to drive basically 45 minutes to the nearest Wi-Fi signal. That is still incredibly slow. It's gone up two minutes. It was an hour and 48 minutes, now it's an hour and 50 minutes. So that's the That's right. That's right. Yeah, go. You know how to play in the monkey bars? There's a special someone who likes to laugh and have fun. He's my best friend. Makes me laugh if I'm sad. The times we had make me glad. He's my best friend. Furry as a bunny. There's no one so funny when he looks at me with that grin. <laughs> 
song we never figured out let's dance oh let's dance everybody's got a little hell to play you can tell it just however you like but my daddy got to heaven on a motorbike Singing, we could drive all night. We got miles of open road, and things will work out right if we just go. If we just go. I never really learned how to pray Will the angels come to greet me on my dying day? Cause all these demons, well I know them by name Every time I run away, they're the ones to blame They tell me we could drive all night Matt is taking some cookies down in the kitchen I think I've had four You've had four cookies? Three of those You had three of those? To have some other things. Wait, show everybody what those are. But I feel kind of guilty about it, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I feel bad that this big corporate corporation has ripped off blatantly the Girl Scout cookies and selling them mass produced. I guess they're all mass produced, but it's selling them in grocery stores. And we bought the Samoa. Like Keebler brands. Okay. Let me say why I don't feel bad about it. The if the Girl Scouts wanted me to buy cookies all year round, Vengeance. they would sell cookies all year Vengeance. round. But when they do so, every time I see Girl Scouts outside of a grocery store, I always buy cookies from them. Even if we have them at home, I buy cookies from them. Every time. Me too. Because they're always good to have. I'm grabbing out some pasta. Cold pasta. That wasn't even that good the first night. I just want to eat stuff. I'm number two. I'm just eating microwave bread buns. Don't knock what I'm eating. You're <laughs> eating microwave bread. <laughs> I mean, put the kid away. It's time to microwave bread, guys. <laughs> listen to mine. Listen. Watch. It sounds like Watch. a pug. <laughs> Watch. It sounds like a pug. Watch. Watch. <laughs> what if you had to breathe like that your entire life? And then they breathe out of their mouth and go like this. <laughs> that's what it's what like. Was that again? That's, when they get hot? What it's like to live at the pug. And it's either this <laughs> or it's this. <laughs> when we lived in Vancouver. Uh, April and I had shared this house, and our rooms were like down a hall from each other. One morning, I came out of my room, like stumbling out, and my bare foot just went smash right into a big old fat pile of pennies shit. <laughs> and it, when I lifted up my foot, it stuck to it. And I was like, God, oh my God, Penny. It's so mad in the middle of my hallway. And it's like a narrow little hallway. Oh man. <laughs>
Then maybe just a close here. Oh, excuse me. We're busted. Hello. Right. We gotta go. Hello. <laughs> All right. Hi. He's gonna leave the floor. You can't hang out.